there. This is Stacy with Plaid Elephant Workouts. We're going to do a bar fusion class today. So a little bit of standing work, getting our arms just moving without weights. And then we're going to add in some plates or gliders. So if you don't have traditional uh, bar gliders or Pilates gliders, then you can use just a cheapy dollar store plate and that way you can use that on your uh, carpeted or on your floor surface. To get started, let's do a quick little warm up because this is a short class for you today. Feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart and go ahead and place your feet facing outward to that 11 and two o'clock area. Arm on the outside leg is gonna raise as we come into a knee bend. So we're gonna go down and up, down and up. Now as you're doing this, take some deep breaths in, get the air flowing throughout your body, nice energy. And you're gonna go down for four, three, two, and then hold it down right here. And then bring your arm forward, scooping down to the floor and then back up. We keep that knee bend the whole time. And you've got three, all the way up, keeping your knees bent. And last one, take the leg back and out, back, and out, arms still lifting overhead. You've got just three more, two, and one. Good, let's do the other side. I'm gonna leave my chair bar here, but feel free to place yours on the other side. And same thing, we start with a knee bend, arm coming up. Other arm is just placed nice and light on your chair, if you're using that for some support. Three more, I'm already nice and warm. I don't know about you guys. Last one, and then we take both arms up, sweep it forward again, and lift. See if you can increase your knee bend if you're ready. If not, no worries. Two more. Last one, hold everything back up, and then we curtsy it back, back up to your wide position. Both arms can be active this time or you just keep using that one. You've got three, two, and one. All right, nice job. So we really prepared the body for some curtsy work with our plates. You're gonna go ahead and grab your gliders or plates. And I'm gonna keep one foot on the mat because I wanna stay nice and sturdy. And I want you to make your, sure your chair if you're using one, it's not gonna move on you. Place your glider on the floor underneath your right foot. Let's stick together on this one. And we're gonna just start with just straight leg, sliding that glider back, back in place. So we take it back and in. Just three exercises each side. All we're going to do is just increase the intensity. So you have options to stay right here. You can see I'm adding in just a slight knee bend, bringing it right back up. And then we're just gonna increase that intensity. Let's do two more at this rate. And one. And then go ahead and slide it back. See how far you can go in that front knee bend. Slide it right back up. We're not going for speed today. Rather, I want you to think about your curtsy squat. Head lifts at the end. Take it back, press all the way up, and back all the way up. Now you're gonna hold in your curtsy on your last one. So we've got four more, press up, three, press up, two, press up, and last one, press up. Good, your third exercise on this side, come back into that curtsy. Put more support on your front leg by bringing your forearms right on top of your chair. Bring that back leg in, out, in, out. So we're in full squat mode here. Nice straight line from your tailbone up to the top of your head. Two more. And last one, pull it all in. So I'm sure that you could feel that as much as I could. To get to the other side so that you can see me, I'm just gonna rearrange my mat and I will be right back with you.
Okay, hopefully you weren't moving as fast as I was. Opposite leg now. So you're gonna bring your other foot to your mat because I want some nice cushion there for you. And then again, we're gonna just start, slide it back, bring it back in, slide it back. As you're sliding your leg back, we're not pulling up on our chair at all. That chair is just to help us with some balance. Slide it up, back, slide it up. You can see my knee bend is a little bit more increasing. Just working a little bit more before we get into the next level of intensity. Try three more and two and one. So now we take it deeper, bring it back up. Deeper down into your curtsy, pull it back up. Bending the knee, making sure that the knee is not going past the toes. Rather, the back of our body is still back here, but we're just taking those lunges. Good, two more. Last one, take it back, pull it all the way up. Then we take it back, forearms on top of your chair, slide the leg, bring it back. Slide, bring it back. So full reliance here on your chair. Be careful it's not gonna move on you. Foot back, back. Woo, these are short and sweet, let me tell you. Two more. And last one, bring it all up. All right, great job. So that's it for your leg work. Let's take it down to the floor. And we're gonna do a little bit of abdominals and arm exercises. All right, so great work getting down to the floor with me. Grab your gliders, and before we move, you're gonna bring your mat and fold it in half, and then have a seat at the end. That way, we are able to move our legs a little bit. We're gonna do one arm exercise, and that's just a roll back and roll up, one of my favorites to do with the gliders. So the gliders go under your hands or your paper plates, Sit right in the center of your mat. Your feet are on the floor, knees are bent. As you start to slide back on your gliders, curve your spine so that your pelvis tucks under as you're coming back. Nice webbed hands, I call these Spider-Man hands, on our Plazer gliders. So we roll it back, curve the spine, and then pull back up. Rather than feeling this work on your shoulders, Try to keep it in your abdominals by watching your breathing. Roll up and back. Roll up, back, roll up. So I'm gonna simulate your breathing that if I was with you there, I would wanna hear. So it would be inhale, exhale. Yeah, the more we take in those breaths, it's beautiful. We feel that work going right into our abdominals. Let's try one more and bring it up. All right, great job so far. Go ahead and lay completely back and you're gonna bring your gliders right underneath your heels. This one is nice because we get a total rest for our upper body. We're not gonna be doing any lifting, but rather we're gonna be working our lower abs and a little bit more legs. Very simple and basic. Get your heels onto your gliders, slide it, but your leg should come all the way down and then pull back up. Other side, back up, down, back up. Just keep alternating your legs. And four, three, two, and one. Now, take your arms up overhead and make a diamond shape so that your hands are meeting at the top, just like this. And then you're gonna slide both legs down, arms come down by your sides. And then pull back up, back to that diamond shape. So it's down, back up, 
down, back up. See how low you can take your legs. We were already doing one at a time. Now we're doing both. And our third exercise to finish our workout here is gonna be a combination of those two exercises. So bring your arms up, alternate four, three, two, one, both legs out, and bring the arms up and meet the ankles. Up and up, one more. Hold the arms right here this time, four, three, two, one. If you'd like, you can pick that up a little bit faster. So it's one, two, three, and four. Alternate, four, three, two, one. One more time, arms and legs up. Take it down, two, three, and four. Hold the arms up this time, four, three, two, one. Good. Go ahead and bring your knees into your chest. You've gotten some nice leg work. Give your legs a stretch. And other side. Cross your ankles and grab both of your knees, bringing them in towards your chest. And then uncross your ankles, get the other side. Rock your lower back, pressing it into the floor, rocking side to side. And go ahead and drop your feet down. Your last exercise, that was your stretch. We're gonna do one roll up together. So bring your feet in towards your seat, arms up overhead, and you have a couple of options. As you roll up, the legs can go long, or you can bring your arms up and have them help you to get up, or you leave your legs here and just roll up the top. So let's try one together. So as I roll up, feet go down all the way to the end. Now, if you don't like that version, let's do the other one together or you repeat that full one. Started with the hardest. Hands up behind the head, roll up, using your arms to pull on your legs, roll down, third version, arms up overhead, and just roll up to the feet. And then last one, we had three. Let's do a fourth one and you pick which one you would like to do. So I'm gonna do the full, arms come up and around, legs come all the way down to the end, flex the feet. All right, good work. Let's stretch right here on the floor. Grab your gliders to help you with some stretching. Always nice to add in the props at the end. Have a seat on the floor and then just stretch forward and take a nice stretch, leaving your seat completely on the floor. Feel the stretch in the hips. Roll everything up. One arm comes up and over and you can grab your plate or your glider and slide it out with you for a nice side bend and then slide up. And I'm gonna do the other side, but I have to get my mat out of the way. Slide over and come back up. All right, nice deep breath in and out. Awesome work. So you've gotten quite a good workout in a short amount of time. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know how you liked it with the gliders. And if you'd like to have some more, just trying to add in some variety with props. But otherwise, just subscribe and you'll be notified when I post another workout. Thank you.